Well, hello everyone and Happy New Year. It's hard to believe that the school year is almost halfway through. Thank you so much for being teachers and for working every day to meet the profile of the 21st century graduate in communities all across South Carolina. Before Christmas, I told you about the passage and reauthorization of the No Child Left Behind Act, which is now called Every Student Succeed Act. And in that, each state and local districts received more authority on assessments and in teacher evaluation in particular. With that, we went to the State Board of Education last week and asked them to give us a two-year delay, pause, on full implementation of our new teacher evaluation program. The State Board unanimously approved that so we can relax a bit. We have two more years before we fully implement this program. On Wednesday, January 27th at 4 p.m., we're going to hold our second statewide virtual faculty meeting. We hope you'll join in in a group or maybe just at home on your own computer and we'll be discussing the new assessments and also the teacher evaluation program. So this is a chance for you to ask questions, get information, and give your thoughts on how we can improve both of these systems. Dr. Sheila Quinn is leading our new accountability work. Our desire is to have a federal accountability system and state system that's meshed together into one so that things can be much easier, more easily understood. We want the system to be fair, not just based on one high stakes test. So please take the opportunity to give your thoughts on that as we hold uh, forums across the state in the next few months. Dr. Julie Fowler is leading a committee that's looking at our uniform grading policy. As you know, for many years, South Carolina has been on a seven point grading scale, while many states around us now use a 10 point scale. We've heard from many of you that you think we need to reconsider this, so we're looking at, looking at the grading policy and knowing that it affects many things, not just the grading at your school, but also scholarships, scholarship applications, our lottery scholarship here in South Carolina. So we've got a lot of things to take into consideration, but we hope to have a decision made by the end of this school year, and we'll keep you posted on that. The South Carolina General Assembly came back into session last week and I had a chance just a few days ago to give our budget proposal to the House Ways and Means Committee. Governor Haley has now also sent her budget request and we're working very closely together to make sure that education gets the funding that is needed. We'll keep you posted as the work moves through the General Assembly. Last summer, the South Carolina Office of Health and Nutrition served over 4 million meals in over 2,000 sites to children across this state. We were so proud of that increase and the great work that was done. If you're interested or know a group that might be interested in serving as a site this next summer, please ask for information on the address that you see on the screen now. Thank you so much for what you do every day for public education in South Carolina. I look forward to speaking with you soon.